YouTube. Welcome back to part five, I believe, right? Part five or part six? Five. I think it's part five of the Drift Quad tire series. Another highly recommended video to do is PVC, in our case, corrugated pipe, which is the same as what PVC would be, so here we go. Get the E unloaded and I'll uh, get these things on the stock tires. So 18 inches in diameter. Inside diameter is 18. It was too hard to get over the knobby. Yeah, so. So we were looked into PVC. Um, this was easier to kind of get because it PVC, free. it was free. Yeah, You're yeah. <laughs> and and PVC, it's really hard to find in that large diameter. So over here, he's got the stock tires, which are Baldini's, which makes it a little bit easier to actually slide them over. And uh, we aired them down to pretty much nothing. Slip them over. This will be the easiest one yet. Not really much to it, but putting them on the tires and seeing how they do. So. Finally, a day where it's not raining. We'll see the full potential of these things on a dry day. We'll get the tires ripped off of the old Raptor 250 Drift Quad. Surprised he's got this thing dirty. He's usually on top of washing the thing. So, these things are just a quick little spray paint job. They look better black. Do the honors of the first one. That's how it's done. Couldn't get any easier than that. Wow. So if somebody say wanted to do this to their quad, I'll leave a link to the PVC, I guess, that I was going to get along with the pipe because I it was kind of hard for me to find. Yeah, do it on, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. This, one's, got a this one's a little harder, a little more air in it. Here it is, another highly recommended video for us to try. If you guys are new and you want to see more dumb drift glide videos, make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll try and do more of these. We got a couple interesting ones in the works. Leave a comment on some possibilities that we haven't thought of yet in the comments. Maybe 30 thumbs up this video and we'll do another one. <laughs> Maybe one dislike, we'll do another one. I already get too many of those. Go for nine lights. All right, air them up to about 300 psi per wheel, and they'll be solid. For the first time around, I almost <laughs> did you? So fill it up till it now almost we're blows do up. More than 10. I wonder if we just left the compressor going on it. No. How much it would take before it blew up? How much do you think? I think 100. It would blow up. It says the max on here what they blow at. What Shouldn't is it? 36? No, no way. It's 36. 36. Well, that's max PSI. They don't. They don't have a PSI rating on blowing it up. I say a hundred. I'd say over thirty-six is probably sketchy. Well, yeah, but for it to blow out the side or explode, let me know in the comments what you think. Do it. Not that we're gonna test it, but what's it at? Ten. Five. This thing should be fun though. Drift around a legit drift quad They're now. They're awful. They're awful in the dirt. Yeah. We went in the meadows with them. Not a fun time. Yeah, Mike didn't tell me and used them, and then. Now we're here. Yeah, Just cut it with a sawzall and you're good to go. Yeah, I cut it with a sawzall to make it close. It's not like you really needed any wider of a any wider PVC. I mean, maybe out. an inch. Have one more section over, but doesn't matter. Didn't have a choice. The pipe yeah. I got was zero dollars. So, Mike, it's almost time for you to get a 450 quad now. The people want it. They want to see it. Hey. Get a million views on this video, Tyler will buy me a 450. Nah. If this video gets 10 million views, I'll get Mike a YFZ 450. So all you Freshie. have to do, yeah, he'll get Mike, not a fresh, I don't know about a fresh They don't even make them anymore, do they? Yeah. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen them. So if this video gets 10 million views, 50,000 likes, that's an odd ratio, I'll buy him a brand new, I mean, brand used YFZ 450. New to me. <laughs> new to Mike. So share the video with your friends, hit the share button, share it on Facebook, you guys know what to do. If you actually want to see a 450 happen with drift quad tires, this video will get 10 mil, but the slight chance it did. Slight chance there's No, there's gotta be a cap though, within the month. <laughs> within this month, if it hits 10 million. <laughs> got the RMZ still dirty, hopefully ride this weekend, get this thing out. Mike got a new Husky coming in too, TC125. No. I messed that I'm up. Over, over the 125. For the 450, dude. I don't. We might be a little. <laughs> I, don't, I don't ride the limit right anyway. day, another drift quad video. That's what it is. You've seen the shot five times. Yeah, you've seen the shot. Yeah. Too many times. Oh, I put that one on tight. Maybe I was just juiced up that day. 
<laughs> yeah, you hit the jam, you're a little no. swole. If you guys didn't see the duct tape, the bubble wrap, the tin foil, the spray foam, check those out. If you didn't see the tin foil one, check it out. And we got some angry guy calling the cops if you want to see that. All right, you're solid. There you go. There she is. Wasn't lining up. I think we got to do the fronts one day. Do all four. Just skate around, you know? They look pretty goofy. Let's see it. Look at that. They look huge. They look like a, like a tractor tire. You know, like the front tractor tire is super narrow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It almost kind of evens it out so it's not like squatting now. <laughs> yeah, it's not stanced out. Got a lot more ground clearance than you do with all the past other wheel tire videos, that's for sure. Look at that. We'll take the baffle out for this one. Look at this clearance. A bit tweaked, but... <laughs> right there is good. loud <laughs> it looks so funny the middle one came out oh chunks easier to clean up than the tin foil yeah oh we got more pieces coming off it looks like he's ripping them off You'll have the plastic, but you won't have the flat. Slap me. <laughs> we'll have to come pick up this mess after. What was that? Oh, they're flying off. No good? It's slapping your legs. Oh yeah, it's... Keep slapping. You just gotta wait till they all break off and then... That hurt. You know what Some of the aftermath. Not much. Just this one's still got the outer. I don't think this one would come off. You gotta deflate them and then remove it over. It kind of got out of line. Aired them back up. Should be solid. You good? You good? Damn. My leg. It caught. Oof. You alright? Alright, sit down for a little bit. We'll be back. You're sure you're good? Yeah, I'll go to my house. Alright. Yeah, here come you. Get your leg. Well, that wasn't good. I'm sure some of you probably expected that to happen. It happened so fast. I'm like, Did you were spinning around and then you're over. Yeah, I don't know how it caught. It must have. Oh, it was this side. It had to That's why, look. 
Yeah. You hit the where it divoted in the curb. Nice. That's what did it. My bars are really bent. Well, did they bend? Yeah, they're definitely bent now. Uh, yeah. Wait, which one did it go on? This that, one. That one. This one. And this one didn't bend, did it? That one's bent. Now see how far bent down. Oh there. yeah, that one's definitely bent. Oh, that's a new pair of bars. Well, you could. I can't bend it back up. Well, for right now. Why? I did that last time, and then I bent this. Oh, the the rod. Steering, the steering helm. Well, at least you're not hurt. Oh no, I'm alright. Mike's over here instantly on it, already on motorsport new stock bars. <laughs> Took him five minutes. Now since it got cut short, probably gonna rip around the meadows or something, cruise around for a little bit. She was when I hit the ground. This went right to the ground. Yeah. Made it to the grass like we were saying. The grass kind of could have been worse. Worked know, out I that the grass was there, was there so they're just bent down a, a hair, you know? Oh, down I, an inch. I must have. No, you definitely caught a tire. It wouldn't have flipped. Win some, you lose some. Lost that drift. Good thing it didn't happen on the high speed one. Uh, that would have been brutal. They were successful, but they weren't successful. Oh boy. Look at how thin they got. Yeah. There's nothing left. It's like paper thin on the inside. Ooh, there it is. Look at these things. Shoot up. Do a tail whip. How'd that get there? That's kind of dangerous. Move that before somebody hits it. Should be good enough. Go through it! What? Go through it! I already did you. I think you would. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. I'm dragging a branch. There it goes. Well, it wouldn't be a drift quad video without a e-bike burnout. It's just kind of mandatory at this point until I get a new tire on there. That was a good one. Kinda. <laughs> that was the biggest one yet, so. Mike completely just roasted half the tread on this thing. All right, well, that's gonna cap off this video. If you guys wanna see more Drift Quad videos like this one, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, so you can see what's going down before the vlogs come out. Along with Mike, it'll be on the screen right here, at Mike Senzi to see all the... Wait, if you wanna see e-bike burnouts, give Mike a follow. Oh, she oh I got a little... no. another extra scuff. With that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.